I created this entire underwater set with all these fishes and kelps and, um, and octopuses and jellyfish and um, secret treasure, like treasure chests and pearls with shells and whatnot. It was really, it was really fun. Something that you draw suddenly has a totally different life when it's put in a different context. My name is Simone Wan or Simona Bunergieva. Nobody can ever pronounce that, so no need of trying. And I'm a graphic artist and illustrator. I was drawn very quickly to the black and white color palette because I feel like our world is so saturated and there's so much noise in it and there's so many things that want your attention that to me black and white represents peace. To me black and white is is taking away the excess. It's just it's just like making it to the most basic. It's just subtracting it just to two colors and then working from there. And when I draw it's a very peaceful experience for me because I forget about all the other colorful stuff that happens around me, all like all the noise, and I can just think about two things and go from there. It's very important to have your own style, and some people might disagree, but I think if you're a graphic designer, it's okay to work in different styles and of course use different typefaces and different colors and different ways and different treatments. But when you're an illustrator, people, clients expect that you have a very specific, well-defined style so they can they can trust you to work and they can imagine what it was gonna come out looking like. I think I'm blessed as being totally naive in life. I'm very optimistic, um, maybe to a fault, but I don't care because it works out really well for me. Of course I worry and of course I think that maybe my work is shit and maybe I'm doing this interview and like my work is like totally pointless and who, who do I think I am, something like that. But do you know what I discovered recently? Everybody thinks that. Every artist doubts their work, everyone. And that was news to me because sometimes you, there are artists that you look up to and think their work is amazing and it's so perfect. And then you get to meet them and you talk to them and guess what, they don't think their work is that great. So maybe if somebody else finds our work more attractive than we do, maybe that's enough. <laughs>